Hello Prime Faces CRUD Generator users. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a web page based on many-to-many -many relationships. Um, for this example, we will have a small little database that has three tables, and I'll explain in a minute what those are. Now, many-to-many -many relationships, um, they are a curious thing because, well, how do you resolve a many-to-many -many relationship? There is a good little explanation on Wikipedia regarding many-to-many -many. and um, basically in their example they have books and authors in which a book can have multiple authors and one author can have multiple books. So how does that get resolved? It gets resolved through what is being called a junction table okay, or a cross-reference table. Um, they also have a very nice explanation that is more like SQL speak or a database speak regarding an associative entity where they have a nice uh, actor film relationship going on, okay, with create table and so forth. Now, for our example here, we'll be using the notion of an item and a warehouse. So, an item can be stored in multiple warehouses and a warehouse can store multiple items okay and um, what i've done here is to create the junction table for this relationship so let's go through this the item has part number as the primary key and warehouse has warehouse id as the primary key now i created a table called item warehouse and to me from my perspective the item is the one that drives this relationship. So when I say it drives the relationship, I'm saying when I create an item, I want to be able to associate it with a warehouse. Okay. Um, one could say, well, you know, if I if I create a when I create a warehouse, I want to assign items to it. Um, but that could be quite cumbersome if you if you imagine you're creating a new warehouse here um, in your application. And you have potentially hundreds of thousands of items that um, could be listed. How would you want to select all of these? Uh, it's not not really something that is viable here. So, from our perspective, we're going to use the item as the driver of this relationship. And to make this the driver of the relationship, the part number is the first key in the primary key, and the warehouse ID is the second key. And you will see how NetBeans, when we reverse engineer these into classes, how NetBeans will handle this uh, situation. This is NetBeans 8.1. We're going to be using a um, Java EE7 project and it's Glassfish 4.1. I have already added the Prime Faces 5.3 library, which just released recently. And um, the project is called Many Many Test. And I will just Go ahead and create those entities for you. Entity classes from databases. I have to create a new data source first because it doesn't exist yet. I'm going to call it many, many DS. And I'm going to use a connection here that I have stored to my database. This is in my SQL. And so you see that there are the three tables that I just showed you in the diagram. Item, item warehouse, and warehouse. Now when I click add all, You'll notice that item and warehouse are grayed out because they are required for item warehouse. So far, so good and straightforward. We're going to say next. And on this page, you'll also see that, well, item warehouse seems to be some kind of a special table. And yes, it's a join table. Okay. Now, I'm going to call it entity for the package. Hit next. Hit finish. And let it generate the classes. Now when we go into the classes, you'll see that there's an item class and a warehouse class, but not an item warehouse class. And the reason for that is the mapping is inside each one of these two classes. So for example, in the item class, there is a warehouse collection. And the warehouse collection is a join table. Uh, it's based on a join table, and that join table here is spelled out, it's item warehouse, and it gives you the relationships, so the join column is part number, and what the referenced column is. 
and also what the inverse join columns are. So in this case, that would be the warehouse ID. You'll also see that there's an annotation for many to many. And now let's inspect the warehouse class. The warehouse class has a slightly different annotation. First of all, it doesn't have the join table annotation. It only has the many to many annotation. And on the many to many annotation, it has the mapped by attribute, which points to the warehouse collection in this class. Here it is, warehouse collection. And the field that it creates here is called item collection. And the idea there is that if you are if you have an if you have a warehouse loaded and you wanted to look at its items, well, you would look at the item collection. So now that we have our entity classes in place, we can go into the CRUD generator, prime faces, pages from entity classes, add them all, click next. We're going to give it some package names for the facade, for the controller, and for the converter. I'm going to skip mobile pages for now, and the options, we're going to leave everything as default, click finish. And after it's done generating your pages, we should we can run it or we can inspect the code. I think um, I'm going to run this project just to demonstrate what we're looking at. And then I'll go over the code with you. First things first, I want to show you the warehouse entity or table, however you want to call it. I have already created beforehand five sample warehouses, okay, each one with their own description. And when I click on, let's say, warehouse one, and I view it, all I see is the warehouse ID and the description, nothing about item collection here. Um, at the same time, also, when I click edit, there is no um many menu or anything like that i cannot select items here that's that's the point i'm trying to make now let's go to an item i have no items we're, we're going with this clean slate here we're going to create a new item and we're going to call this part number 101101 and i am going to call this test subject one there's a long description here where we can add a better description, some kind of boolean field, which is supposed to be a checkbox, but I didn't I didn't bother changing the type from small integer to um, boolean, and so the CRUD generator didn't put a checkbox there. But here is the meat and potato of the many-to-many -many relationship as it is generated by the CRUD generator. I am creating a part. I can assign it now to A, 1, 2, three warehouses okay I'm I'm making an assignment that this part number is in warehouse location one two and four warehouse three and warehouse five don't carry this item currently I'm gonna hit save hit yes item was successfully created now when I double when I uh, double click on this uh, I will see um, there is a warehouse collection here Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it gives you multiple um, rows to, to look at, but you can see the association here. It's probably easier if, if we clicked on, um, let's say, Edit, because there you can see it has all the three associations that I made earlier. Okay. Looking at the database real quick. Um, Here's the item warehouse join table, and if I say view data, you'll see that it created three records for this part number and warehouse IDs 1, 2, and 4. So there you go. On the, uh, I could edit this, I could remove, let's say, warehouse 4, but add it to warehouse 5. 
let's see how that works and when I save yes successfully saved now if I go back to that table here and refresh you'll see that it has, still has three records because I just removed one association and added another one but you'll see that this last one here which used to be four is now five so there you have it now let's take a look at a bit of code I'm going to close the browser and head on over to projects so um, let's look at the create xhtml for an item you'll see that there is a select menu menu and the value for the menu points to the warehouse collection in the selected item and since we're you know when we're creating a new item behind the scenes a new um, a new item entity gets created and so that's the selected one um, also we're looking at the proper converter which is the warehouse converter uh, and then within the many menu we also have select items which is a separate tag and you'll see that the value for that is the warehouse controllers items so items here is the list of warehouses right so on the, if you look at just from the warehouses perspective the warehouse collection is the list of all the warehouses that are in the system okay the value that um, the value for select many menu is the warehouse collection item so basically that would be the um, the item that's collect that's uh, selected and the label for each one of these okay which is the description of warehouse collection item okay I might sound a little dense and it's you know it's not an easy concept but this is what it takes to create the many-to-many -many relationship in um, prime faces and also in Java server faces because let's face it this is not new this is old technology okay there is a there is an H select many menu for JSF. Uh, so now you've seen the um, HTML code and I've also shown you the, the uh, Java classes for item and warehouse. Now I hope that you have a better understanding of how the many to many re relationships work in um, NetBeans and particularly in JSF and with prime faces and how the CRUD generator handles the, the generation of such pages. And I hope it made sense to you. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below this video. And um, like and subscribe, do what YouTubers do. And um, I'll see you in the next video.